Today I'm going to be answering a question from a viewer, uh, Dat811, regarding uh, Blender Game Engine and uh, wanting to make a door that actually swings open. In previous tutorials I've done door tutorials where the door slides uh, from left and right, kind of like a pocket door. Uh, he would like to, or she, I don't know, uh, would like to see a door swing on hinges. So that's what we're going to go over today. It's real simple. We got our default view here. I'm going to uh, split this view here by right clicking there and clicking split. And this view, I'm going to hit one on the nerve pad to go to the side view. And I'm going to scale that cube down on the Z axis by hitting S to scale and Z for the Z axis and then scaling it down. I'm going to scale it out, and this is basically going to be our, our plane here. And in this view, I'm going to put to the camera view, and I'm going to make it a textured view. Next, I'm going to go into top view here, and I'll hit Z to go into wireframe mode. I'll hit spacebar, mesh, and I'll add another cube. This time, I'm going to S for scale, and I'm going to say Y for the Y axis, and squeeze it down to make a little wall here. I'll hit 1 to go into front view again, and I'll G for grab on the Z for Z axis lift it up and I'll grab it on the X axis so GX to move it over here a little bit then I'm going to shift D to clone it X to keep it on the X axis and do like so so we've got basically two walls and I'm going to shift D again on the X axis and put it right between these two uh, other cubes and I'm going to scale it down a little bit like so and then I'm going to scale it on the Z axis to bring it up and I'm going to go 7 on my number pad to go to top view here. And I'm going to grab the lamp. I'm going to hit G to move it. And I'm going to move my lighting over here so that we can see what's going on. So now if I come over here in my camera view and I press P on the keyboard, it puts us in game mode and we can see what it looks like in the game. Good so far. Let's start animating it. I'm going to select this center cube, which is going to be our door. And I'm going to go to F7, which is our object uh, window. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go to what is F9 for edit mode. And uh, if we left click, I can move the this target cursor. So I'm going to left click that over here, and this is where I want the hinge to be. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to say center cursor right here in our object window, or our edit window. And that's going to move. You'll see this center, this green and red arrow with the circle, which is where the center is now. It's going to move it over to there. So now that the center is moved. If I hit R to rotate, you'll see it rotates on that little uh, center point there instead of rotating in the middle. I'll undo that. So you see we have the center here. This is where it was rotating. You see it rotates like that. Once again, if I right or sorry, left click to move that little target cursor, center on cursor. Now if I rotate, it rotates there. And we're at frame one. I'm going to hit I to add a keyframe and I'm going to say uh, add a keyframe for rots for rotation. And I'm going to go up. I'm going to hit the up arrow three times to go to frame 31. I'll hit R to rotate and I will rotate it open like that. However far you want the door to open when you uh, activate it. I'll hit I to add another keyframe now that we're at frame 31. Rot for rotate. Rote, I guess. And now if I hit up and down arrows, you can see the animation of the door opening and closing. So now we just need to add that uh, logic into the game. So we're going to go to this little Pac-Man looking icon here, which is our logic editor. It's also F4. And I'm going to add, add, add. I'm adding a sensor, controller, and actuator. And I'm going to connect all three of them. And I'm going to change this always to, in this case, keyboard. But you can make it a sensor for different things, either when your character touches something or comes within a certain distance of the door or comes within a certain distance and presses a key but just keep things simple I'm gonna press key here and I'm gonna hit spacebar and that makes our act or our sorry our sensor spacebar and we're gonna say when that happens we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go IPO which is allows us to use our keyframes in the game engine I'm gonna change P to flipper in this case just depending on exactly how you want it flipper will make it so as long as I'm pressing the spacebar the door will open as soon as I let go it will close so depending on what you're trying to get you may use one of these other ones ping pong or play or end loop all depending on what you're trying to get I'm gonna set my frames from start to to be one which it is and end I'm gonna change to be 30 or 31 anywhere close around there 
Now, once again, if I bring my cursor up over here by my camera view and I'll press P, if I, hit, if I hold down spacebar, the door opens. If I let go, it closes. So as soon as I let go, see if I let go before it opens all the way, it will close. So once again, that, that's the flipper action. You may want to change that depending on what you want. But as long as I hold down spacebar, that door will stay open. When I let go, it will close. I hope that answers Dat811's question. And I want to thank you for watching uh, this video. And if you like this video, there's more tutorials, not only on Blender, but on a bunch of open source stuff, video editing, programming, over at filmsbychris.com. And check out a lot of my new uh, microcontroller um, videos on Arduinos and other electronic soldering funness. Have a great day.